Hey everyone, um, I wanted to respond to the questions that you had after class from my lecture yesterday. Thank you for filling out the survey. So I'd like to try and take some time to answer your questions. A few of you asked about resources post-graduation and there um, are a few things that you could know about that. First, the public library is absolutely going to be your friend. Use the public library. If you live close to a college or university, a lot of them will have access to resources if you go on campus. For example, at PSU, you can join the guest wireless network on campus and access many of the databases. Third, there's a guide. The guide is called Open Access Public Health, and that will link you to um, databases and resources that are freely available on the web. One of the good things in public health is that we have PubMed Central. That's a preprint server of a lot of the um, funded research that's happening in health. One of your other questions was about how to approach databases uh, for searching. And so I want to share with you something from PAIS Index. A lot of the databases will function a little bit differently, but generally you'll have more than one search field. Um, and then you'll be able, sorry, I have a cat problem. <laughs> Anyway, you'll be able to um, construct your search from there. One of the first things that you want to do is good brainstorming, like you have on your research guide. You have these four steps moving from a research question to a search strategy in four steps. So that's a good thing. Just do some good um, brainstorming first. So I'm going to use the example that's here on the research guide, and it's... Um, is union representation good for public employees? So you have a brainstorm list. So you can pull any keywords from any of those uh, topics or concepts. So we could search for collective bargaining, which is a, a concept synonym for union representation, and then um, put in a public employee and see what happens for um, in PAAS International. The one thing about search is that it's iterative. You never have one search that is perfect. You'll have to do different searches and you'll have to keep playing. And then um, your result set will be like a mishmash of the things that you find from the various searches that you do. So in this case, you find that um, the results do bring back keyword searches from the keywords. So you can um, kind of poke in and see, let's see, um, Let's look at number two, labor unions in the Trump administration. And when you look at the record, you'll have a short abstract, but then you'll also be able to look at the subjects and get ideas of um, other keywords that you could be using to, do, to be doing your searching. Um, so I think that's one of the best ways to go about it. You poke a little bit and you make some strategies um, on paper move it to the um, database, see what happens, and then do some more playing with it. I'll also send along a handout that I like to use. It's called Research Log with Instructions, and it's the same as the search strategy in four steps, um, but it might be a good place where you can use as a worksheet if that's going to be helpful to you. One of you also asked about finding white papers, and I think that PAIS International as well as the library catalog might have some of those. Um, it can be a little tricky. You can't. It, sometimes you can use the key phrase white paper to find something, but um, I'd also encourage you to look in a resource called Issue Lab, and that's linked on the social problems page of um, the guide. And it's pretty straightforward. You can drill, da drill down to topics from there, and there's a category for healthcare. Those white papers come from a variety of agencies, um, NGOs, etc. So you might try and start with that to see if you can find something uh, related to your topic. Some of you asked about how to download data from Policy Maps, so I want to show you uh, quickly how to do that. I have here a data layer of the five-year percent change in diagnoses of HIV from 2017 on the map. You can see the range over in the left-hand side of the screen. Um, so from here, if I want to get um, data, it looks like there was a positive and negative change in Washington according to the colors and ranges. So I'd like to download data for Washington. So we go up here to the download data option. Um, and this is the data set that I want. Then we have to select our location. I'm just going to add Washington State. You can do, it asks a search. So um, you can just click on that. And I'm doing Washington State because it, the variables are by county so that I will get the data for each county. And then all I have to do is confirm download. 
and then it'll download it as a CSV and it might take some time. Some of you asked about how to get fully around a research topic. We were talking about how public health research and a specifically policy research is interdisciplinary yesterday. So I wanna give you some tips. One of the first things that I ask folks is um, who cares, right? Who cares enough to have done research about this topic? It could be the stakeholders in an NGO. It could have been an academic researcher. When it comes to finding where to look for information or particular databases that might be outside of your public health wheelhouse, this question, who cares, can be about what disciplines have done research on it. When you have some answers to that question, then you can go to the research guides. And there's a link from your particular course guide back to the research guides homepage. It's also linked on the library page. So when you go back there, so if my example, like I tried to use yesterday, school nutrition policy, you absolutely want to search in education because educators also care about school nutrition. So you can find the subject for education and then in there select, um, there's a lot of guides, but you usually select the, the general one, education. And that guide, Michelle, my colleague, has created this guide and suggested databases where you can search for articles. So if you click on articles, then you'll find the suggested databases. Eric is one of the best resources for searching education literature. So, for example, if um, let's go back with a different example. If you care about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, environmental policy, if there's a particular environmental policy that you think leads to um, some social determinant of health or something like that, you want to look in perhaps something in environmental science because environmental scientists also care about environmental policy. So you just have to wade through the geopolitics of how PSU is organized based on this page. You know, what departments are there or what academic, academic discipline is there. And we see environmental science and management. You click in there and then you can click on the um, ESM, Environmental Science and Management link, and find articles suggested from my colleague Beth, who is the um, librarian for Environmental Science and Management. There was also a question about international data, and this can be a little stickier. Um, one of the things that you want to do with international data is think about that circular public policy or that who cares question, right? So you could look for um, international newspapers. We have a newspapers guide. You could also think about government information or the agencies that exist in the area that you're looking for. I'm not sure if you're looking for one country or if you're looking for glo a global statistic, um, but you might consider looking at guides um, such as the government information guide under government and law. <clears throat> there is under government information, um, uh, other nations, IGOs, NGOs, etc. So um, you could also look at the data and statistics tab to see where you might find some information about that. PAIS International is an internationally focused or globally focused database, so um, papers about policy will be included in that database, scholarly research. Um, the other thing that you might consider is uh, thinking bureaucratically. This is one of my favorite things to talk to students about. Put your mind in how um, bureaucracies are organized, whether it's in the United States or whether it's internationally. Who is responsible or what entity is responsible for reporting data? What entity, so I'm going to use an organ example, what entity is responsible for reporting crime statistics? Is it the Portland Police Bureau? Is it the county? And to where does it get reported? And then if you think up the hierarchy or up the chain, you might be able to identify an agency or an organization that may have collected that particular data that you need. So internationally can be a little bit harder um, because data is collected differently by any country. You can look at um, global NGOs such as the World Health Organization, the UN, etc. If you have more questions about that particular international data, please don't hesitate to either email me or make an appointment with me and we can look at some stuff together. I hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck on your projects and please don't hesitate to be in touch.